The previously confidential report disclosed in the Washington Post was prepared by the Defense Science Board made up of government and civilian experts. It does not directly accuse the Chinese of stealing U.S. weapons designs, but senior officials blame China for most of the breaches. Among the systems thought compromised are several important to Guam, the recently deployed THAAD missile defense system and the shipboard Aegis system. Island. Heritage Foundation Asia expert Dean Chang says Guam and others should be concerned at two levels. At the more immediate level, it is whether or not the defenses will actually work. That is, uh, whether they will be able to intercept uh, inbound missiles. But at the more strategic level, there is the question about whether or not in hacking such systems, in obtaining such information, China may feel emboldened to act in ways that it might not otherwise. But what about North Korea? I don't think that the Chinese are likely to transfer the information directly to North Korea, but it does raise an interesting question about whether or not if the Chinese can do it, why can't the North Koreans? Although North Korea is not connected to the Internet very much, there's some pretty good evidence that they have homegrown, very talented hackers themselves. Some of the many other weapon systems believed compromised, the PAC-3 missile defense system, the F-35, V-22, C-17, UH-60 Blackhawk, F-A and EA-18 aircraft, and the Global Hawk drone, also on Guam. Numerous technologies are also on the list. Chang and other defense experts fear China and others could make our planes and drones crash, or worse, make them into projectiles against U.S. targets. Taken together with earlier reports, Chang says the latest report is very scary, and the U.S. needs to take its cybersecurity more seriously. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.